This video is brought to you by Grams28. I've never had an Android tablet and given my amazing Z Fold 5 experience, I couldn't help myself and I had to dip my toes into the Android tablet market. I did want something special though, a rare breed if you will. There's only one tablet that fits that description and that is the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra. It is a rare breed as it lives between the world of the iPad where it competes only with the largest of Apple's tablets and on the other side it rivals with portable 2-in-1 laptops being a true hybrid machine that runs a super quiet yet very powerful hardware that can run as a tablet and provide laptop experience with the help of DeX. It is also a rare breed because it's the only IP68 water and dust resistant tablet on the market and in this video I will try to answer the question can it compete or even replace an iPad Pro or a laptop or maybe even both? So let's see what makes this device special. For starters, this is the largest tablet on the market. With an almost 15 inch display, it dwarfs mainstream 10 or 11 inch tablets and competes directly with laptops, but in a footprint far thinner and lighter, even if we throw in the official Samsung keyboard, which I'll talk more about in a bit. Second, despite all of Galaxy's Tab S9 series tablets running the latest dynamic AMOLED screens, which you can only give justice in person, this display in a 14.6 inch size, holding it in its pure tablet form is something special. I love Apple's mini LED tech, but the OLED on this tablet, especially in this size, is nothing less than spectacular. So I had to create a new wallpaper pack around it. This one I called Silk Madness in 8K resolution and I'll be sure to link it in the description below. So browsing, gaming and drawing at 120Hz is silky smooth. Unintended. By the way, if you end up enjoying this video, subscribe because why not? This giant display in combination with these super slim bezels is like having a portable IMAX theater at your fingertips. Pair that with all the Atmos surround sound with quad speakers and just drop the mic. Can we take the time and appreciate and maybe laugh at how weird it looks to hold and use this tablet in vertical mode? I legit wouldn't feel comfortable pulling this thing out and holding it vertically in a public cafe, for example. People might think I grabbed the TV from the wall. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chip makes this tablet one of the most powerful tablets to date. My configuration is the 512GB storage with 12GB of RAM in beige color. Side tracking for a moment, honestly, I didn't want to get the graphite version but it wasn't available and since I'd rather carry the device alongside Samsung's keyboard and the back would never see the light of day, I went for the beige color, which is not so beige in a good way. Back to storage, the one terabyte option comes with a bit more RAM for management purposes, but I wouldn't recommend going there as you have the option to insert an external SD card up to one terabyte. So 512 gigabytes is more than enough for the demanding apps and games out there and the additional slower SD option is ideal for that extra storage need if at all necessary. It is oddly satisfying that the tablet vibrates. I've never had a 15 inch screen that vibrates. But I think I kind of like it. You know what? I really like it. Okay, so let's test both front facing cameras right now. I'm recording on the wide lens. And if I switch to the other 12 megapixel lens, this is the ultra wide. And this is what it looks like. Uh, the ultra wide is a bit noisy, but overall it's really good. By the way, the audio comes from the microphones of the tablet itself. So let me know how it sounds. And if I switch back, I think it looks good. Specifically for meetings and stuff like that, I think it's great. Let's test the rear cameras now. Compared to the front 12 megapixel cameras, on the back there is an 8 megapixel ultra wide and a 13 megapixel main lens. And interestingly enough, they don't look as good as the front facing cameras. In fact, when I'm recording in 4K right now at 30, I don't have any control to switch the lenses. So I'm not sure what the purpose of the rear cameras are in terms of switching between them. Probably it's mainly for presentations or meetings, but when you're doing like video recording, uh, like right now, I can even switch back and forth between the lenses. 
In terms of audio, I'm actually standing further away right now. And you let me know how it sounds in the comments below. Let's talk about the elephant in the closet here, the sheer size of this tablet. Sure, you might be getting something very similar in terms of daily experience with a laptop, but nothing comes close to the level of immersiveness this Ultra tablet has to offer. It's not only the thinness and the bezels that I mentioned. This tablet is super sturdy and after Jerry Riggs everything bent test, I feel super confident carrying this device everywhere with me. Although I can carry with the book cover keyboard as is, I much prefer to move it around in something practical and in this case, timeless. This is Grams 28 118 leather folio, which is made from the finest Italian full grain leather. Grams 28 uses some of the best environmental certified leathers, which are distinguished by their rich texture and soft touch. You can expect beautiful patina over time, making the folio individually yours. The 118 size I have is one of five size choices you can pick from to fit your lifestyle. I really appreciate the spacious padded interior, which in the 118 size has enough space to engulf even the largest 16 inch MacBook Pro and even the Tab S9 Ultra. What I like most compared to other products I've tried is the careful consideration when it comes to internal organization. I'm talking about dedicated pockets for AirPods and even AirTag. Grams 28 leather folio comes in four beautiful colors, black, dark blue, olive and fossil gray with an option to add initials. So be sure to check out the first link in the description below to grab your personalized Grams 28 leather folio. The built-in under display fingerprint reader works as fast as the readers in the latest Samsung phones and if I have to compare it to something like a fingerprint reader in a power button, I'd go for the under display version as it is much more accessible than having to guess where that button is. The Ultra offers eSIM and 5G as well, which I've come to appreciate given my commutes and despite running a data plan, this Ultra shines when it comes to battery life and performance. This giant slab of glass has a massive capacity of 11,200 mAh, which is roughly 500 more than what the 12.1-inch iPad Pro has. According to some stats out there, it lasts a bit less than the largest M2 iPad, but regardless of the differences, I'm really impressed at the fact that I can use the Ultra all day long and not worry about charging it no matter how hectic my day is. In a world where smartphones charge in crazy fast speeds, I would have appreciated a faster charging option than 45 watts, but even at that, I'm really happy as long as I don't forget to charge it every night. Everywhere I take the Ultra, I gather people's attention. Everyone who starts playing with it remains super impressed at how cool it is to interact effortlessly with a display that good looking. Take a look at this. <laughs> it's huge! What? It's, it's almost too big. I don't know what to do with all this screen. Wow, that's, that's a lot of vertical. Look at that. Mm -hmm. But you know what? At first glance, like using this with a touch interface, this is a better user experience than Windows oh, with, when it comes to touch. Definitely. Like layout, for example, just everything comes up. Mm -hmm. Nothing's like weirdly in tiny little boxes that you don't know who thought about that UI. So what if you, what if you accent? Ah, it doesn't matter which, which way the pen goes. They've thought about that. <laughs> As I mentioned in my latest Surface Pro 9 video, unlike Microsoft's 2-in-1, which is a device that can hardly live without a keyboard and a trackpad, the Tab S9 Ultra can easily live on its own. But throw in Samsung's book cover keyboard with the existence of DeX and you'll get one-off 2-in-1 experience. The kickstand is super sturdy and soft, which is forgiving on people who wear shorts or skirts, and the protective pencil flap on the back is super clever, knowing that it keeps the inductive charging pen safe while moving around. Also, unlike many rear cases that rely on corner resistance and tension to stay in place, this accessory can be carried without the keyboard, looking sleek, staying firmly in place with the help of magnets. The overall added size and weight is more than acceptable, with just as an acceptable flex on the keyboard itself. Typing on it is great, although not as great as something like the Magic Keyboard on the iPad Pro. It is illuminated though, and it has an escape key, which does so much more in the world of Android. I'm not sure if my book cover keyboard was defective, but initially when I started using it, the trackpad would get stuck and it was really, really annoying. Maybe it was a software issue because it was fixed shortly after that and it doesn't get stuck no matter how hard I try, but I'm not sure. Probably it was just, you know, a thing that had to be fixed. Other than that, the keyboard itself is great and typing on it is a pleasure.
Let's talk about the pen. As you saw, it lives in the back, quietly charging, being protected by the keyboard. I really like the back magnetic cover, but let's say you don't have the Samsung pen and you don't want this hump here. Well, what you can do is just remove that thing altogether and just have a cleaner back look. This water resistant pen has a soft tip compared to the Apple Pencil, which gives it less of a cringy feeling when drawing, sketching or writing on the glass surface. What I mean by that is that you most likely find less of a reason to use a you know, paper-like screen protector because out of the box, you'll feel more natural using it. By the way, this inductive pen charges no matter the direction you magnetically attach it in, which is awesome. Of course, this being Samsung supporting DeX, you can expect the usual perks of having the ability to connect this device to your TV wirelessly and hooking it up to an external monitor. Unlike most smartphones though, running DeX natively on the tablet is really something special. You can either trigger it by attaching the keyboard or simply activating it with a touch of a button to witness the best looking version of DeX period. I am about to do a new desk setup video which will use to showcase DeX in its true potential so stick around by subscribing because that episode should come out by the end of the month. Truth be told, you can get the same powerhouse of a tablet with just as gorgeous display and features in the face of a smaller Tab S9 option Samsung has to offer. The Tab S9 Plus for example will give you a more manageable 12.4 inch experience with a saving of $200. But I urge you to try this behemoth of a tablet a look in person if you can, in order to grasp how awesome and joyful it is to use. It's special, I'm telling you. On the other hand, in a world where two-in-one laptops struggle to stay cool and offer mediocre tablet experience, the Ultra stands out as a superior machine that offers unbelievable tablet experience whilst also showcasing super promising laptop capabilities, both in the world of DeX as an internal solution and as an external environment. So can it replace or compete with the best of the iPads? Absolutely. Can it replace a laptop? Well, it all depends on your workflow and needs. If the Play Store market has you covered in terms of apps, and let's say you work with online tools and maybe you even have some tech skills to unlock even more in the world of Android, you surely can do your job relying on nothing but the Ultra. In fact, in my latest Z Fold 5 guide, I talk about how to unlock amazing features such as Samsung DeX in 4K, video wallpaper replacing Bixby, and more. So feel free to check out this video here. Like and subscribe to the channel, as well as my newsletter. And as always, it's been an absolute pleasure. This is E, over and out.